up guys welcome back to another video today I was reached out by a company that I can't remember I'm so sorry and they have the exotic um, prism makeup palette in the peach dream prism makeup so both of these palettes you could get offline now I have played in some of these already um, they're both cruelty free and they both keep for 12 months of shelf life and let's see the makeup is made in the USA sorry I'm reading and let's just go ahead and get into these swatches because I'm quite new to this too so let's go so starting off with the prism palette it comes with a mirror which I know some people like and these are the colors right here and I'm gonna swatch this palette first So this is going to act as a translucent powder just in case you don't have one. You can use a very nude color from one of your palettes or if you choose to get this palette, you can use so this palette. out of the Peach Dream palette, once again, I'm going to go into the color Tarte, which is right here. And I am going to be placing that... A little bit significantly higher than usual so uh, it's going right above the crease almost towards my brow bone you need to modify as much as you can um, everybody does have the same eyeballs so I'm going to be pulling that color down to the side over here and I am going to keep building up that tart color until I get the intensity that I want this is a really pretty peach color and it does have a little bit of kickback, as I said before. So be very Next gentle. Step is going to be going into, I think that is pronounced a semi furto. This one. <laughs> and I'm going to be placing that just above the crease. 
and I hope you guys were able to see that. I didn't look to see if you could see it. Um, this is a very soft brown, so we are going to be applying that just above the crease so we can get the gradient. And then after this, we are going to work our way into the deeper brown. From the same Peach Dream palette. And we are going to take that same fluffy brush. I haven't changed the brush at all because it's helping the colors that are still in here, since it was a brand new brush, <laughs> it's helping everything blend out together, I guess you could say, make it mesh well. So I'm gonna take Chris, and I'm going to be applying that inside the crease just to deepen it up some more. And I'm also gonna take it to the outer V, and when we are going to stop right about here, with that brown color because we are going to do a half a crease. So make sure when you blend it, this is, if you are following along, you're gonna take crisp or some type of brown that you have and we're gonna stop it right there. And then you're gonna continue to do it as you are going to, if you're following along, I'm saying it like I'm bossing y'all around, like this is a class. So sorry. <laughs> I want you to, Take some, let me rephrase that. I am going to, me, me, I, she, her, me, is going to take some Bella Pierre, and this is a eye primer. So you can use whichever one that you want, just as long as it's of this consistency, okay? So I'm gonna take some on a flat brush, and I'm gonna begin to cut my crease, and just to give you a synopsis of where I'm gonna stop at, it's gonna be right here. That's where I'm stopping at. I lied, a little bit over. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna stop at. So now that I got my stopping point, I'm going to go ahead and to the next palette, which is this exotic palette. And I'm going to be taking this really pretty blue right here which is called Lagoon. This blue right here, can you guys see that? I hope you can. This one, this blue right here. And we are going to be placing that where we cut our crease at, just by dabbing it on. And if you got what I got, like right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, the transfer, once you're done patting that on, patting that color on, Go back with an eyeliner brush, a clean eyeliner brush, and take a little bit of the color that you have put inside your crease and cover that up. There you go. The your exotic palette. I am going to be taking a flat brush, and we're going to take this color right here. And this color is called, I think it's Soli. And a clean flat brush this is the same brush but I cleaned it off <laughs> and we're gonna go into that gold color and we're gonna pat that gold color all over the lid so it looks like this with a nice little shimmer now with a fluffy brush go back into the peach palette and I'm going to take Chris and I'm going to deepen up those corners with that brown. And then I'm going to try and fade these into each other. All right, so once that's all done, I am going to go into this gorgeous blue, which is the dupe. One of the dupes for Juvia's Place. And it's called Emerald. I'm gonna be taking a smudging brush and basically just kind of dipping the, the tip in there, and then I'm going to place that in my intercorner. Gold color right here. I'm going to take the flat brush, and I'm gonna place that just above the brow bone so we can have a brow bone highlight, since I say I never do that. <laughs> You wasn't looking at my makeup, was you? So this is the final look that I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
these are not bad palettes whatsoever like I'm not mad and I told you guys the dupe for this blue but the only thing I have to say is that it has a little bit of a kickback but if you're not digging like digging into the palette you should be fine light taps pick up a lot of pigment with these palettes um, I believe this one retails for eight dollars and this one is like ten dollars I could be wrong I forgot quite honestly so everything is linked down below so make sure you guys go pick up your peach dream and exotic palette they're super cute and don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share sharing is caring I'm just saying and until next time I will see you guys in the what in the next video